Hi guys, welcome to the video from a very sunny Edinburgh. Today I am heading out of town along the coast into East Lothian and I'm visiting Glenkinchy Distillery. So I am in the maker's room here at Glenkinji Distillery with Sam, who is one of the mixologists that works here. Uh, so Sam, tell me a little bit about what you guys can do here with visitors. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are in the maker's room. Um, we can fit six people in here and the aim is to uh, get people together, friends or loved ones, and, and mix up drinks and have a little bit of fun, um, making bespoke cocktails um, to your needs, essentially. So we'll run through a, a slideshow, which is on the, the screen. Uh, tell you a little bit about the history of cocktails and where um, where everything came from and then with that using um, some really world-class um, cocktail gear to make drinks of your own as well so um, fantastic for icebreakers excellent for hens parties or, or just getting together and having a bit of fun so i can actually so i can actually bring my friends in here we can get we can tell you what we're interested in and what the stories are and then you can actually tell them that's very interesting 100 yeah ah, brilliant well i will uh, i will get booked in fantastic <laughs> So I am here with Brian, one of the tour guides here at Glen Kinchy Distillery and we're now outside the front of the newly refurbished uh, visitor centre uh, and of course we are with the man himself, Johnny Walker, but Brian, who is this that he's with? So with us here is Bruce, our distillery dog, uh, been around since 1923 and he had a, an important job at the distillery looking after all the vermin so <laughs> he did a good job and Bruce is a Scottish deerhound. So he's our mascot. A handsome chap. Uh, so obviously a long history here. Tell us a little bit about the story of uh, Glenkinchy. Yeah, Glenkinchy itself going back to 1837 when George and John Raitt, our farming um, brothers, came together to start distilling here on site. Uh, they actually did distill before that in, since 1825 at the Milton Distillery, but came here and created Glenkinchy Distillery in 1837. So a long tradition of whisky making here at Glenkinchy. So there has been big changes here this year, a uh, big investment for 2020. Tell us a little bit about what has changed. Yeah, huge changes, both here in the visitor centre, which used to be a, a warehouse. Um, so we've made a, a new ware, uh, visitor centre here at Glen Kinchy, and also the tour itself. Uh, so in the distillery, there's been big changes in the way we present the tours, very much a flavour led experience rather than a process led. Uh, so quite a difference for both visitors in the centre and also in the distillery. Uh, talking of flavour, what is uh, your personal favourite jam? Okay, so um, Glenkinchy uh, being a light floral uh, whisky um, gives us these kind of these kind of notes, but I quite like the double matured version of Glenkinchy, which gives us a, a sherry cask maturation finished off with extra 
fruitiness, if you like sweetness, and a wee, maybe a hint of spice. So quite like the double mature Glen Kinchy, my favourite. <laughs> well, that sounds like a recommendation to me. So I am going to hit the gift shop and pick up a bottle. Brian, thank you so much for your time today. You're welcome. As part of the reimagining of Glen Kinchy as the lowland home of Johnny Walker and the Four Corner Distilleries programme, Diageo have commissioned a series of paintings to be hung in each of their distilleries. Each painting will reflect the landscape that the distillery is set in, and this example is inspired by the agricultural rolling East Lothian landscape. The final and main painting will be unveiled as part of the new Johnny Walker experience here at the west end of Prince's Street in Edinburgh next year.